Hi guys, it's Teresa here. Today I have a fall home tour for you guys. I hope you all enjoy this video and if you do, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. But if you would like to see what items I use to decorate our home for fall, just keep watching. Right now we are standing in the foyer of our home and this is the front door. As you can see outside, I do have a little basket with leaves in it, but you can't really see it in detail because this is outside. And down here, I have a rug. And this rug is from Dirt Cheap. I really love the colors in it. It's like orange and blue and yellow. And it's really, really pretty. I thought that it was a really cute design. I had another rug here and my husband didn't like it, so I went out and bought another rug and I really like the way this looks a lot better when you come in to the house. This is what it looks like when you first walk into our house. Right now I am standing in the doorway of the front door and straight ahead is the kitchen. To the left is our stairway and to the right is our formal living room. On the side end tables, I have sprinkled some potpourri on them and the potpourri is orange and red and it really gives a really pretty hue to the tables. I thought that it was a great way to pull in the fall colors to the living room. On the sofa, I have this really beautiful orange quilt, and I believe that this quilt was made by hand. I actually bought it from Goodwill a few weeks ago, and I only paid $3 for it. I thought that it was just gorgeous, and it adds the perfect pop to this room. I also have these two pillows that I also got from Goodwill, and I think they were like 2 or $3 a piece, and they are also really, really pretty for this room. On the coffee table, I have a few accessory items and I don't like to have too many of the same exact items on anything. So even though I have two pumpkins, I wanted to make sure that I put two other things on there so it doesn't look so cut and dry and perfect. So I have this pumpkin here and it has glitter on the top of it. And I got this pumpkin from Dollar Tree. Again, it was a dollar obviously and I got this candle here this is lemon pound cake I got this really big sparkly pumpkin from Walmart I believe I paid three dollars for this last year on clearance and I saw some more of them there this year and I believe they're about seven or eight dollars around the pumpkin is a wreath and I got this wreath from Goodwill I believe for like 50 cent or a dollar and I just put this on the table around the pumpkin this is another of the small pumpkins, the exact same one that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I have this apple. This apple is actually always in my living room. And I just really love the way it looks because the idea of my living room, it's mixing gold and silver together. And I just loved this apple when I saw it. I think I got this from Dirt Cheap. Over to the side here by the windows, I have a small table and this table is also always in this room and I decided to go ahead and decorate this in the same way that I decorated the end tables and I also put a centerpiece on this. I got this centerpiece last year from Walmart and I believe I paid about two dollars for it. I haven't seen any that look like this this year but Again, there are so many pretty things out there for fall this year that I'm sure you could find something that's just as pretty. And then this little rug here, y'all, the story behind this thing is so funny because this is actually a piece from a little Bo Peep outfit for um, Halloween. And I actually cut the little tail off the end of it and put it on the floor so that I could have one of those faux sheep rugs. And I really like the way that it turned out. I think that it looks cute underneath this little table. And it kind of pulls that area together along with the rest of this room. Now the living room opens up into the dining room. You can kind of see it a little bit from here. And I'm going to take you guys in there so that you can see what I have going on for fall on my dining room table. 
We're standing in my dining room now and we were just in my living room, which this is another view of it. I was standing just between those two chairs and now we are in the dining room and everything that is on this dining room table either came from dirt cheap Walmart or the Dollar Tree and I'm going to show you guys everything that I have here for these little placements um, I got those plates the red ones at the bottom I got those from Dollar Tree the green plate that is on top of the red one came from Dirt Cheap and they actually came in a set of four and the entire box only costs about 20 cents I got these napkins from the Dollar Tree and they're really pretty. They have the same leaf pattern as the centerpiece does and it also has a napkin ring around it that came from the Dollar Tree and I believe it came in a pack of six for a dollar. So in the center here I got this pretty flower from Walmart last year and I believe I paid two dollars for it. The container that it's sitting on or the tray rather that it's sitting on came from the Dollar Tree and those two candle holders on the outside also came from the Dollar Tree and the candles that are in those candle holders are LED lights and those also came from the Dollar Tree. These green wine glasses were also from Dirt Cheap and I got these for 20 cents each as well as these placemats they also came from dirt cheap and they were 80 cents each in the kitchen I don't have many decorations at all really the only things that I have in here is this scarecrow and I got this from the Dollar Tree and on the island here I have this glass placemat and this says give thanks unto the Lord and it has a really pretty plaid color on the sides and it has the pumpkins on it and I thought that it was really cute so those are the only two things that I have on the island we are downstairs now in our basement area and this is used as our den. This area is one of my favorite areas of our entire house. I just love the way that this room looks and it looks so cozy at night. Um, we sit down here and watch TV and I love how this looks at night especially in fall time it is the perfect area to just curl up in I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the things that I have on this table first and I also have a DIY for this table I actually put this table together myself and put the mirrors on it so look out for that video coming up very soon and here I just have some candle holders on this side I have this tall one with a gold candle in it this is actually a LED light that I got from Dollar Tree and I have a smaller candle holder with the same candle in it and I have this pumpkin that I got from Walmart for 98 cents moving over to the middle this is just a vase that I used to have in my dining room but I thought that it looked a lot better down here on this table so I moved it and on the other side of the vase is the same exact decorations that I have on this end except I added a pumpkin on this end just so the table didn't look so symmetrical I really don't like it when things look too too symmetrical so I always put something on the other side so that it's a little uneven. I really love this table and the lights on here look really, really good at night. Moving further into the room, I have these orange um, trays, which are actually always in this room, but they are very fall weather-ish. I'm going to change these out for the Christmas time, but I'm not really sure what I'm gonna change them to. And the pillows on our sectional are also always this color. So we're already fall ready. And I guess these could be Christmas too because they are like um, dark red and green. 
but I actually added this throw. I added this throw to the sectional so that it would give a little bit more of the darkness of fall to the room. And I absolutely love this sectional. This is one of the pieces in our house that I sought after. I looked high and low, literally high and low, to find the perfect sectional. And I finally found it in this. So I really love this sectional. This is also another table that I made to go along with the sofa table. And on this table, I have a small vase with the LED gold candles in it. And again, with the potpourri, I have it. I wanted to put the potpourri touches all over the house just to tie every room together. And moving over to the left, I have this chair. And this chair is actually very old. It actually belonged to my great-great-grandmother. And it's been passed down from generation to generation. And on this chair, I actually just have another throw. And this throw actually has animal print on it. And it's like a dark brown and burnt orange. I thought that this would look really, really good in here. And this pillow is actually always in this room, but I just left it. So here is an overview of the chair and the sectional. Now this is what the room looks like if you're standing in front of the chair and I'm pointing towards the fireplace obviously. On the fireplace I have these baskets and inside these baskets are LED lights and at night I turn them on and it gives a really cute glowing effect to the baskets. And in the tall glass baskets, I actually just have some jack-o'-lanterns down in there. And it kind of makes the jack-o'-lantern or the pumpkin look like it's in jail. So I thought that was really cute. And as you can tell, going across the hearth of the um, fireplace, I have the potpourri again all the way across. And I just have the baskets. And they are not symmetrical. It's not perfectly centered. And I really love how that looks. And inside the fireplace here, I have a lot of candles. I don't like making fires because I don't really know how to make a fire. Even though my parents have made a fire every single winter for the entire winter, for my whole life, I still don't know how to make a good fire. And I'm afraid to try to make one. So instead of burning wood, we burn candles. And it is still really, really cozy in here and it looks good at night. Moving up to the mantle of the fireplace, up here I just have some owls and these are so cute. I thought that they just looked so perfect up here and I actually have some LED candles in these because they are candle holders but I haven't turned them on because they kind of have a reddish greenish kind of color thing going on and I really don't like the way that looks for fall but for Christmas time, I will have those going. And to the right of the owl, I just have a red vase. There's nothing in it, but I just like the way that it looks. And I have those things on both sides of our TV. And our TV is actually mounted to our mantle because we couldn't get it to mount into the stone. So we put it into the mantle and I really like the way that that came out. It is just so cozy down here at night when we're sitting and watching TV and everything. And I just love this area of our house so much.